news segment time. Uh, your comments and the future of the channel. Let, let's okay. Let, let's take a look here. Uh, we do actually have reasonable amount of comments, but the channel has been doing unbearably bad. Uh, but fair enough. Uh, chemistry and chemistry. TJF talks ninety two. The water ball commented. The last segment is the most nerdy thing I've ever listened to in a minute. Uh, y yeah, we we were we were doing the element game. Uh, it is pretty freaking nerdy. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Uh, I guess I could stop sharing this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, uh, right, uh, m more, t uh, more better titles, TJF T92, which is actually, I'm gonna, we're gonna discuss here after these comments, uh, Ryan Orange commented, uh, watching this at 12 a.m. and I have school in the morning, uh, I question why you're watching the third part of the, of the podcast at 12 a.m. on a school night, it's, anyways, uh, lies about lie, which is a pretty good title. Uh, the water bottle commented, "Good video. I'll have to remember lie cleans drains." Yes, yes, it does. On to the gaming channel. Yes, 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 yes. We have quite a few comments. The water bottles been getting caught up on stuff. So, uh, floors and a new game, Minecraft ninety one. The water bottle commented, "Villagers, are, villagers are 100% easier now than they've ever been." When we get into that in our uh, teaching series, th uh, th yeah, they're easier. <laughs> they require, they're, I would say, the mechanics to get them to work uh, make more sense. Uh, but before, it was literally just place a bunch of doors, make sure they're placed in the right orientation, and have enough villagers, and boom, you make iron. Uh, but as for trading with them, and how to actually set up that farm it makes a lot more sense now anyways teach my cousin how to play minecraft pilot the water bottle commented stop crouching <laughs> yeah i yelled at you the entire time because you kept crouching oh yeah yeah <laughs> some gold bedrock let's play 25 the water bottle commented build a dam gotta control that water I might build it. I think that is my next. I think that's my next goal. Build a dam. Uh, yeah. Anyways, that's all of the comments. So, future of the channel. We are. The, the, oh my! I didn't realize this, but the channel is just. Oh my god! We we've ha we've gained three subscribers in the past twenty eight days, and I want to die. I don't get it. Like, okay, a month ago, the channel was just. Like, I, the channel is doing fantastic. We gained, like, 10 or so or more subscribers in a matter of weeks. It was crazy. I'm like, finally, the channel's, it's picking up. And then it died. The thing oh. is, it, not, none of these views were coming from current videos. They were all coming from past videos. Yeah. And I don't under, the algorithm, the algorithm is, I'm at the whim of the algorithm. When it decides to push and not push my videos, I'll never know. Granted, we are approaching the summer, and my channel does tend to do worse in the summer, just because oh. with it being... <laughs> well, no, it, it does. Because people aren't... You're not in school. You're not looking up, you know, no. the kind of content... I'm not in I school make. anymore. Okay. We're <laughs> nerds. We're weird. Uh, we're different. So it, it, it's, it's kind of one of those things. And actually, I wanted to look at, uh, I think the mosquito video broke a thousand views. That video does well. That, that actually, if all the videos that, so the videos do, I do better in the winter. In the fall, in the spring, in the winter. It do bad in summer. Except this video is the opposite. It does well in the summer and does bad in the winter. And actually, the logic that, what Vertassium and Mr. Beast say to use in your video titles, this one breaks that logic. 
What, what is what is that? Uh, give me a moment here. Uh, sort by most viewed. Why does it feel good to scratch mosquito bites? It has an interesting question. I don't know. What, what, do, you, what do you mean it doesn't follow their logic? But I thought the logic was no mumbo jumbo. Mosquito bite scratching. I, I feel like that's mumbo jumbo. I Maybe not. I what? don't know. Well, People okay. know what those words are. Okay, I, I the word portal is is uh, mumbo jumbo. Okay, but stargazing mm. kit. What about it? I, I I really think I should change that title to like uh, something else. I don't like the title. I, I yeah, we can I, work on that. Yeah, that one needs to be worked on. But okay. I have the opportunity. Actually, I'm almost two episodes in debt now, but uh, we'll, we'll worry about that one. Uh, I'm going to be an episode. I am already an episode in debt, and I want to start writing it. And I'm going to be a second episode in debt, but I will worry about that later. <sighs> uh, I've got another video on centripetal acceleration. I, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I've got. I, I already wrote down kind of how I want the intro to go, but I want to build i want i want to make an episode I, I want to make an episode just like how the professional youtubers do which is they design it around the title mm. and thumbnail you need to re you really need to watch safety third because i think this this would really let us some insight i would really like for you to also see the same information i'm getting on this yeah because they talk about how they don't like making videos because all the videos they want to make aren't going to do well because they can't put a good title on it. And so they end up coming up with titles and making videos based on it. Like Niall Red had the, oh, actually, well, he's a little different, but he basically is like, what would be interesting is making hot sauce from rubber gloves. That's a crazy title. And he's yeah. like, can he do it? And he did it. The video was an hour long, which she's like, I can't believe there are people that watch that for an hour. Like, I watched it all the way through. I thought it was Can you awesome. make hot sauce? Huh? Can you make hot sauce? Yeah, he turned rubber gloves into uh, capsaicin. What? You're muted. Hello? Oh, no, I, I didn't have any words on the matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, anyways, he turned, <laughs> he turned, uh, which is just insane. But, so, but anyways, William Osmond, he has to, he has to just come up, he has to come up with a title and then make the video on it. Actually, I think yeah. he's been taught, dotting around the idea of measuring the speed of light. Yeah. Which well, that was a yeah. We could maybe do it. We have some hills that are pretty far apart. The issue is getting. No, you're not doing the Galileo experiment, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> bruh. He's go, but he's going to tie to. No. No, you're not doing the Galileo experiment. Why? Because it's inconclusive. All Galileo did was determine that the speed of light was too fast for the human observation um, to be made. I thought, well, no, wasn't there a, um, but no, I thought he, wasn't there an experiment where they had it on hills and they had rotating mirrors? Yeah, no, rotating mirrors. Well, no. What Galileo did was he had an, uh, he had someone start a stopwatch, uh, and they had a clock or something, so they know when to start the time. And they turn on the lantern, and the moment he turned on the lantern, it was like inconclusive. There was there was no possible way. Why? Because do you know what the speed of light is? Right. One hundred and eighty six thousand two hundred eighty two miles per second. Right. Per I, second, I, 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 I know. the light travels seven times around the Earth in a second. Right, I, I know. There's no way to do a hill. Uh, right, I know, but there was an experiment 
with rotating mirrors. And that's what William Osmond was talking about. Well, yeah. I, uh, so when I measured the speed of light, we use rotating mirrors. But you use a laser. I have a laser. It's a very difficult experiment, but and it's it's one of those that are hit and miss because it requires so much precision that either you you're dead on and you get a very good number, or you're just way out of the ballpark. Mm. Fortunately for my group, we, we did manage to get a very close, somewhat close value. I really don't recall what it was. Hmm. Um, but I forget exactly how it worked. But yes, it does use in rotating mirrors and a laser. And uh, the other thing is it requires a very, very, very dark room. Hmm. I'd have to read more to figure it out. This sounds like we're going to blind ourselves. <laughs> I, but, uh, what? It, it's an interesting experience. You'd have better luck doing what, uh, what's it, James Romer? What's Romer's I believe experiment? made the, the first, uh, ex, the first uh, reasonable uh, prediction on the speed of light. Hmm. And he used uh, moons that were eclipsing Jupiter. Oh, oh yeah! Because the shadow lagged behind the, the movement of the, the moon. Lagged right? behind the prediction. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. That, but we we we'd have to. The thing is, though, the thing about that one is, we have to. Uh, it has to be during uh, uh, an eclipse uh, on Jupiter, which happens frequently. Uh, we're going to need yeah. a hell of a telescope, probably bigger than what we have now. Yeah. Well, to the thing get, is, to get... our telescope is better than what Newton had, right? Well, than what they had at his time? Yes, but I mean... Did, uh, when they were like, in like the 1680s. Okay, I guess we could do it. I would prefer to have something a bit bigger, or something with yeah, something bigger with better magnification, or at least something with a tracker. Anyways, if we're gonna do this yeah. right, uh, I want to. I mean, we could. No, know. we should do it how the Greeks did it. They didn't have no tractor. <laughs> no, I mean how they they didn't have no tractor at his time. <laughs> yeah, but hell, the second wasn't even invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> the concept of a lot of things hadn't been invented yet, so <laughs> the concept of society hadn't even really been invented yet. They invented democracy, heaven forbid. So, uh, the concept of people having rights. What? what a stupid idea. Anyways, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so this is a triple to acceleration video. Did you come up with any titles? Oh, not yet. I haven't had much time to think about it. You just asked me today, didn't you? Yeah. Or I, yesterday? Yeah, I, I asked you this, this afternoon, but I, I figured maybe actually uh, this morning, but I figured maybe you maybe had something idea. I I, I haven't had time to think on it. Yeah, I couldn't think of it. I was just like, what would be something... I mean, we can either go... Because, like, centripetal acceleration. Maybe we could do something along the lines of the centrifugal force and how it's not really a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, how would we word the title like that? Like, centrifugal force factor cap. It's actually pretty good. I was thinking something along the lines of uh, what is spinning? What is spinning? Ooh, that's good. That that I I was coming with that was uh, what is spinning? That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. I think we've got th those are two front runners there. What is spinning and then centrifugal force mm -hmm. factor cap. What do you spin? Do you spin? No, no. 
No, that was not as good. Spinning is such a wild thing. Life invented the idea of moving in a straight line. Life? Yeah. You or realize wife. that? Huh? You say life or wife? Life. Apart from no. light, life invented the idea of moving in a straight line. Even light doesn't move in a straight line. But, uh, mm -hmm. because everything in the universe moves in circles or, or, uh, ellipses. Mm -hmm. Everything is spinning. Mm -hmm. Life on this planet invented the idea of what if we went in a straight line? Because here on the earth, with it, as long as you're not going over uh, a certain distance, Everything is a straight line. Nothing is curving. What do you mean? Nothing is curving. Well, I mean, from our point of view, without looking a little closer at things, it appears the Earth is flat. It's not. But from mm -hmm. our perspective, uh, without looking closer, like literally it doesn't take much to realize the Earth is round. Mm -hmm. Like... It, like, to actually measure it is one thing. To realize it's not, it's just, oh my god. <laughs> In the modern age, it's so easy to realize, oh, well, that wouldn't happen if the Earth was flat. I, I just, I, I, I don't, oh, flat efforts piss me off every single day. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Uh, I had those two titles written down. Unless we come up with something better. Uh, what is spinning and centrifugal force? Fact or cap? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm liking that what is spinning. That's pretty good. I, I, I don't know what it is, but something about a spinning object. It just fascinated me. Ever since I learned about uh, centripetal acceleration, it that was like the one moment like that got me really excited. I don't know what it is. Same about the idea that I can make something accelerate by spinning it. Have a mm -hmm. constant acceleration. Doesn't require a rocket motor. It doesn't require a planet or a black hole. I can just spin it. The problem is that it has to spin very fast or be very, very large. Hey, if you build it in space, you can build crap basically as large as you really want. Because the problem is that you want something that has that does not have a big gravitational difference between your head and your feet. Yeah. There Earth was... is so massive, the gravitational difference between your head and your feet isn't much. Mm -hmm. But, in a spacecraft that's spinning, artificial spinning, there will be, you do not want there to be a noticeable difference. If I remember correctly, I think the Russians were the only people to ever build something in space that to test an artificial gravity uh type thing. Or maybe they didn't build it in space. They might have built it here on Earth. Yeah, that's what they did. They had a little room and they put mm. somebody in it for like a week or like a month or like a week or something. I don't remember. But the Russians really the only people that ever did this. I don't know why no one's ever like it's such a, a crucial technology for humans long term in space. I don't understand why nobody's looked into it more. I don't get it. It's difficult. Yeah. But, I mean, it's... It'd be... It just... Would you rather screw somebody up for life? Or would you rather be able to keep somebody in space for... Well, maybe their entire life. Minus the radiation. What if you just freeze them? Well, that's not practical. Are you going to freeze somebody for six months to go to Mars? Yeah. 
That you don't have to worry about food or anything. That doesn't seem practical. Why? You're freezing for six months, no food, no supplies necessary. You unfreeze them, bam, there they are. Do their experiment for the day, head back, freeze themselves. No need, you need like one day's worth of food, two days worth of food. That's it. How, 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 how do you unfreeze them though? But how Eat. do you, fr right, but without all their cells turning into mush. We haven't worked out all the bugs yet. Okay. Well, it's going to take us longer to figure that out than it will be to develop the technology to make an artificial <laughs> to make artificial gravity. Is this triple acceleration? It seems like they're both problematic. No. One is known, proven science that works, that literally all it takes is funding, and the other yeah. is... Well, you, literally all it takes is funding to freeze someone. No, well, yeah, we've been freezing people for decades. We don't exactly. know how to, it's already known technology. We don't know how to unfreeze them. We do too. No, we do we hit them by praying, but they had to come to life though. We don't know how well, to do so, okay. that. Okay, so since like you said, how do you unfreeze them? We do know how to unfreeze them, right? Okay, how do we unfreeze them but have them remain functional? It's still in the works, okay, right? Or, or, but wouldn't it just be easier it. just to build a massive space station in orbit and then strap some nukes to the end of it? Ah, uh, that seems Mars? like that'd be a lot of work, sir. No, no. Let's see. Really. Nukes are dangerous. You're um, on a sealed environment. That was an mm. idea. I mean, you could solar sail is also an idea. And once again, you need a massive solar sail. Well, photons don't carry much energy. I know. At least the ones from our sun, though. Lasers. Was it? There was an idea for uh, where they would build a big giant parabolic mirror that they would use to focus sunlight on a solar sail on a satellite so that it could be sent out. Uh, I don't remember where they were trying to send the damn thing to. But they'd send it out somewhere faster than it would be otherwise. But Point is... Uh, I don't know. It's an idea. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, fourth segment time. 